Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the GameCube Gambit, the YouTube series where I go out and I hunt for things to flip on eBay and Amazon to build my illustrious GameCube game collection. In previous episodes, we've come away with games like this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. It's okay, I didn't mean it, I promise. It was just for a video. But today's episode is actually gonna be a little bit different. Cause if you guys remember back to the first video of this challenge, there are actually two ways that we can get money to buy GameCube games. The first one is by finding stuff to flip on eBay and Amazon. But the second one is selling items that are currently in the collection. And I've been looking around recently and realizing that I don't love every item in my collection. If you guys saw my video game collection video, you know that I have probably like eight or 10 Nintendo switches because at one point I was trying to get a complete collection of the systems and honestly I'm just not that fond of all of them anymore. So today we're going to be making our very first collection sacrifice in the form of the Diablo Edition Switch. Because to be honest I never loved this thing in the first place. I mostly got it to complete my collection and since this week I'm going to a video game convention called the Midwest Gaming Classic I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to go and see how much money I can get for this bad boy to subsequently spend on games for the GameCube collection. Are you buying stuff right now? Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy a lot? Yeah. A gotcha. Lot, like, uh, yeah, a few hundred bucks for this. One. Oh, really? What you I got? Just, I've got a Diablo Switch. I don't know if you'd be interested. What are you looking to get out of it? Um, I'm mostly just kind of fielding offers right now. All right, well, let me know. Come up with a price for it, let me know. Okay, appreciate it. Well, apparently table number one did not want to give the first offer, which can't really blame him. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be saying, Caleb, why aren't you just selling this online? You could get way more money that way. They're not, you're not gonna get full retail value for this thing. And to that I would say, yes, you're right, but how fun of a video would it be listing this thing online and waiting for a buyer to buy it? Boring. Excuse me, you guys buying anything right now? Got a Diablo Switch. Paid one for that. Yeah, special edition. That come with uh, I think that it was, let me see. I think it does actually. I bought it forever ago. Yeah, got the case in there. I don't believe it has a game. You know, I'm mostly just fielding offers right now. I might. Well, I'm, let's say I'd say, you tell me what you're looking to get for to see if we're in the ballpark. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there any difference between like cash and trade credit? You guys have a good uh, amount of GameCube stuff? We have some, yeah. <clears throat> okay. What about? 400. You're not even in the ballpark. <laughs> what would you be in? Well, we just looked them up. They're only like 275, 250 online. Really? Yeah. I guess they've dropped since I bought it. <laughs> so what, what range would you be in? Yeah, you know, I mean, I'd probably be at like 175. 175? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll keep it in mind. Appreciate it. All right. Well, we've got an offer. <laughs> Unfortunately, these have gone down quite a bit in price since I originally bought it. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we can get a little bit more than 175 since it does have the like original box and everything, but we'll have to see. So I'm not seeing any complete in box sold listings on eBay. So I don't know. I feel like to the right buyer, we could get more than that. You guys buying it all right now? Um, yeah, what do we got? Got a Diablo Switch. Any interest at all? Maybe. Just kind of taking offers. Like 300? Okay. Um, would it be any different if I did trade credit? Do you have any GameCube stuff? Oh, we do have some. Okay. Yeah, we could do, we could do a little more and trade like 325. 325? I'll take a look at the GameCube stuff. I may do that. All right, so a solid selection here looks like. All right, Paper Mario is a good one. Ooh, Luigi's Mansion. Is it used or is it now? Yes, it's used. Used. Just pristine. Yeah, I, I take care of my stuff. Ooh, Mario Golf. Well, yeah, I, I think I probably can go ahead and do the trade credit. Ooh, Sunshine too. Okay, Resident Evil, Magical Mirror. That's interesting. Odama. Is Odama like a strategy game? I've played it before. It's really actually a cool game. It's okay. Like, I'm a pinball guy. Yeah. But it's like, it's like pinball meets war. Okay, pinball meets war for yeah. Odama. You got the ball and the ball like yeah. rolls over and kills <laughs> the enemy. And That's pretty intriguing. Okay, I'll put that one aside. Yeah. Harvest Moon. I don't have a Harvest Moon game. Not complete. 
but oh man. Yeah, this feels complete here. This sunshine, this one has to be in the pile. So <laughs> I kind of want to get this just because of his description. Pinball meets war. That's hilarious. And did we get... Did we get Mario Golf already? 35? That's not too bad. And then honestly, I'm just, I'm kind of a sucker for Disney games. So I may, I may go ahead and get this one as well, even though it's not complete since it does at least have the original case. Paper Mario also isn't complete, but that one's on the list. Oh, two dollars each on this bin. What I realized actually over there is that we don't have to just get GameCube stuff. We can actually buy other stuff that is flippable and then use that expected profit to get more GameCube stuff elsewhere. That's pretty good. 25 into 37. Perfect! Okay, 45 into 59. Not bad. Let's spin over here. Oh, that one's unexpected. 10 into 20. 15 into 28. Nice. Hello! I like money! You know, I may end up actually just doing the cash offer and buying these, because there wasn't quite as much GameCube stuff as I thought I wanted. So I believe this is 90 plus 70, 160, 185. There you go. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so a lot just happened there. I'm going to go somewhere quiet so that I can break it down. All right, so I found this little backstage area, like literally backstage. That's that's a stage right there. And it might and be, it a, might little be a little bit echoey, but I think it's going to be relatively, relatively crowd free. free. So, so here's the, here's the scoop. scoop. They ended up offering me $325 for that console, which I thought was a really good deal relative to what the other guy offered. Actually, sorry, it was $325 in trade credit, $300 cash. Initially, I thought I would do the credit but what i realized was if we have this much money i want to spend at least part of it to get one high dollar hundred plus dollar gamecube title that we might not normally have access to so what i decided to do was kind of split the difference because i did find some playstation titles there that are flippable between ratchet and clank cabela's hunting expedition silent hill downpour and tales of symphonia we should be able to get around 50 or 60 dollars in profit on amazon to be conservative i'll say 50 dollars but we also picked Picked up. I don't know if these are the single two most iconic GameCube games, but they're definitely both in the top five. We got Mario Sunshine and Luigi's Mansion. I think that Double Dash and Melee would definitely also be in contention for the top slots, but oh my gosh, people, can you imagine two better games to cross off our list? Even though we did have to trade one of our precious Switches, I honestly was not sad at all to see them go. And not only do we have these two incredible titles, but we've got $100 in cold hard cash as well as the 50 in expected profit for these bad boys that we can still spend. So our only task for the rest of the acquisitions part of this video is to go back to that sales floor and find the best GameCube game we possibly can for under 150 bucks. I'm kind of feeling like maybe a Pokemon game would be best. Like I think both Pokemon Coliseum and Gale of Darkness go in that range. So who knows? Who knows what we're going to find? Where is your uh, GameCube stuff? Let's see. Ooh, Sonic Battle. Not bad. Shadow the Hedgehog. Ooh, Black Label Sunshine. That would be nice. Okay, GameCube stuff down here. Looks like those are all reproduction arts. Oh, not that one. Did you say that there was a uh, Pokemon GameCube game over here? Uh, yeah. Oh, ah, see. there it is. It's it's loose, but uh, okay. You know, it's a reprinted label or whatever. But. Sure. Ah! Ooh, ooh, these things look in nice shape. Man. I think we have that one. Do we? I don't think we do have that one. Is this all the GameCube stuff you had here? Yes. Okay. All right. Crazy taxi. I don't know, man. This is a lot of good games. A lot of you guys actually recommended Crazy Taxi in the comments on the first video. This Sonic DX. I remember playing this one at a friend's house. <laughs> he got a good deal on that. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna check with one more booth, but I may come back and, and get a handful of them. Anything like higher end? How about that hat over there? Oh, that's cool. Right? I was actually eyeing that too. That was a really cool piece. Right, you guys can play it. <laughs> How much is it? Seventy. Dang, that wasn't even on my radar, but that's like, that's really cool. Not another one. 
that I've saw that's out there. Really? So, the, so that's me just making up a number for it. Made up a number. Okay. Tell me this. Let's see what let's see what other stuff you have here. Okay, I don't have Gauntlet. I don't have I don't have Mario Party Six. I've got. 150 to spend. If I bought this and a couple other things, would you work me a little deal? Yeah, of course. Okay, appreciate it. Oh, and Taz. Everybody in my comments is like, this is the worst time to collect right, GameCube, yeah. dude. So I think the total for this would be 75, 70, and 16. So I'd be 11 bucks over. Yeah, you said 150? Yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. I appreciate that. That I did not expect to find this today. That's right. totally random. Okay, um, what what just happened? <laughs> I I went and bought this insane GameCube hat here, seventy dollars, kind of on a whim, honestly. It's pretty uncharacteristic for me to just like make total impulse buys, but I saw this thing on the table. Actually, he brought it out from the back, and I was just like, this it's got to be fate. And in addition to that, was able to pick up both Mario Party Six and Taz Wanted. Taz is a much lower dollar game, but both of these were actually on my list of seventy five games that I'm trying to get in this challenge. So today we managed to not only get rid of the Switch and get a really solid value for it, I think, but also pick up four games that were on our GameCube list and a totally unexpected little trophy here. The only problem is I feel like it might actually be a kid's hat because it's super shallow. I thought that, oh, I'm going to wear this in every other GameCube Gambit video. And I might in some still, but it may actually in reality have to be more of a shelf piece because it just, it doesn't fit that well. Nice hit. But yeah, folks, all there is left to do now is get home, pop one of these bad boys in, and give a little review. Bruh. Nice shot! It's Luigi's Mansion time, baby. So I actually played Luigi's Mansion on the Switch and loved it. But believe it or not, this is my first time ever experiencing it on the GameCube. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm finding that this is very different than, for example, Digimon World in that you're thrust into the story immediately. Like I'm in this mansion, here's the key. Like they haven't dropped me in a boring hub world to explain a bunch of controls and how to operate. Like. I'm just in the story, and I really like that for the beginning of a game. All right, so at this point, I'm a few rooms into the mansion, and here are some of my first impressions. First of all, I don't really understand how Luigi is whistling when his face looks like this the whole time, but it is clear that the Switch version is very faithful to the original and that a lot of the stuff that I love playing through that one, I also love about the original. And I've actually been surprised that the graphics, despite being like 15 years old or something, haven't really gotten in the way at all of my experience of the game. Oh, I just found Toad. One of the things also that I like most about this game is that like, you can go up to just about any object and just like click on it, press A, and he'll like shake it or tap on it. And sometimes like money will pop out or a ghost or who knows what. And it just, it kind of brings me back to some of the point and click games that I played on the computer as a kid, like Freddy Fish or like Pajama Sam. And I don't know, that element is just really fun to me. Also, this element here, I absolutely love. The Game Boy Horror. Never realized that that was like a part of this game before. And I think it's super fun. So yeah, folks, Luigi's Mansion, definitely a title I'm excited to come back to in the future and that I'm thrilled about adding to the collection. If you guys haven't seen the other videos of the GameCube Gambit series, there's a playlist dedicated to it on the channel. Thank you all for watching and until next time, I will catch you guys. Nice throw. On the flip. Psst. How the algorithm thinks you'll like this video next.